Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In this video, we'll discuss about string and string builder in .NET. Right? So we already know what is string. String is nothing but group of characters. For example, if I try to declare string, S is equal to ABC. Now here ABC is group of characters. So generally string is immutable. String is immutable. Immutable means the value will not change. Value will not change. And internally in C sharp.net or Java strings are nothing but predefined classes. So whenever you try to store any value in the string internally an object is created for that string. So here internally one object is created for the string. So here object is created the value that is stored is ABC. And this object will have some address. And the name given for the object is yes. So the address of the object is stored in yes. And here if I write something like yes is equal to um, yes plus de. And here I will write yes is equal to yes plus fg. So here whenever I am trying to perform a concatenation operation with string. Let us see what will happen. Here in this statement one object is created reference is yes. And in the next statement yes is equal to yes plus de a separate object is created. And yes means ab, AB abc plus de. A, B, C, D, E and the address is 200 and the address, uh, uh, reference is yes and again in the third statement one more object is created A, B, C, D, E, F, G and here the address is 300 reference is yes so whenever you try to perform concatenation operation on string each and every time a separate object is created the existing value will not be modified so I am calling this one as string is immutable Immutable means whose value will not change. Is it, if you want to prove this one, you can print here console dot write line of yes dot get hash code. Get hash code method. What it will do? This get hash code method will return the object of the class. Is it clear? So here it will return the hash code of the object that is hundred. So if you try to print the hash code three times, you will get three different addresses. So by this we can prove that string is immutable. By this we can prove that string is immutable. We will discuss about string builder. So string builder is also a class predefined class which is available in using system dot uh, text namespace. So here the syntax for creating an object is string builder sb is equal to new string builder of. Here you give some value ab. And here if you want to perform any concatenation operation with string builder, there is one predefined method called append method. You can call that method sp dot append of here I'll give cd. And here I'll write sp dot append of I'll write give ef. Is it clear? So here let us see what will happen. In the first statement an object is created. In the value that is stored is ab. And this object will have some address 100. And the reference is SB. SB will point into the object. And the string builder is mutable. Mutable means the value will change. Immutable means value will not change. So whenever you try to perform any concatenation operation, here a separate object is not created. Rather it will modify the existing object. So A, B, C, D. And in the third statement it will be A, B, C, D, E, F. Is it clear? So each and every time when you try to print the get hash code, it will return the same address. Means string builder is mutable, the value will change. If you try to work with string, here what is happening? String s is equal to ab and s is equal to s plus cd and s is equal to s plus ef. So in the first statement one object is created ab, the address is s, the address is 100 and the reference is s. And in the second statement, one more object is created, A, B, C, D, address is 200. And in the third statement, one more object is created, address is 300 and value is A, B, C, D, E, F. So three times if you try to print the hash code, you will get three different addresses. So string builder is mutable, string is immutable, the value will not change. String builder is mutable, the value will change. So it is always recommended to use string builder whenever you want to perform huge amount of concatenation operation to save the memory. If 100% of memory was allocated for the project, string will occupy nearly 
um, 20, uh, nearly 90 to 93 percentage of memory, whereas string builder will occupy nearly 25 to 28 percentage of memory. So performance wise string builder is better compared with what? String. I hope you understood. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.